amazing things happen when, when a plant finds its perfect home where all of the influences, if you will, that are in that environment are perfect for that plant. It's not about people. It's not about somebody having an illuminated moment and finding out how to grow something. It's about realizing that you have a plant that's found its perfect home and then learning how to farm and support it. How do you support that plant so it reaches its zenith of ripeness, its full expression? When I started at Kenwright Cellars, it started as a part-time summer job for me, but I learned pretty quickly that it would grow in, into much more. Just based upon Ken and Karen's way that they embraced the community, the place where I'm from, Kenwright Cellars was the first winery in Carleton. Mm -hmm. So he really is a pioneer, not only for the Oregon wine industry, but for Carleton. And this passion for wine that Ken had was really contagious. Every year, Mother Nature brings a whole new set of issues, a whole new set of challenges, every year. And every year there'll be something you've never seen before. You can't put your head in the sand. You can't quit on yourself or your team. You have to deal with it. You gotta pay attention, react, get past the challenge. And sometimes it's really difficult, it's really hard. Mother Nature can be tough. And that's the, the beauty of, of being a human being is that you have the ability to get past a very serious challenge if you don't quit. What we're selling here is the legacy that we've created basically through years of hard work and effort into creating something that brings a lot of joy and happiness to people and something that is of incredible quality that took an incredible amount of effort to get there in order to bring that to somebody's table. And so what we're bringing to people is something that is created by family and community here in Carleton and by a family itself and really bringing all of that effort into this really incredible product that people love. Pinot Noir in this area is amazing. Every one of our vineyards has its own voice, and that's because of the parent material, that's because of the age of the vine, its elevation, its aspect, how it greets the day, the sun. All these things are factors that develop character, develop flavor. Pinot Noir is like a blank canvas, if you will, and everything about the wine is painted by place. It doesn't have a varietal quality that will override place, dominate place. It's the opposite. It is place. It's all about place. And that's a wonderful thing because to me now, the experience of having that wine has far more depth, far more interest because I get to know a, a place on this planet, a specific site on this planet through that wine. That makes it to me insanely fantastic. And I think to really be good at this job, I think you really need to know, know the site. I know where the wet spots are. I know where not to go in the winter. I know where the bigger challenging areas are. You know, every, almost every single row, I find the positive thing and the negative thing and, and manage to that. And I think that's very powerful to, to have a company with vineyard managers and, and people in the cellar that are as committed and long-term. There's a lot to be said for just having that continuity. In the end, wine has a place. It is not one of the more basically important things in our lives. Health is important, truly. Family is important, truly. Wine is not at that wild level. But wine's role, as I see it, is to bring some level of pleasure to life, a level of pleasure to the table when you are with family, when you are with friends. It's an adjunct to that gathering that creates warmth, creates oil in conversation, 
it can be a beautiful adjunct to life, particularly when the wine is compelling and beautiful.